Hello everyone. Welcome to Edupedia World Videos. In today's lecture, we will discuss about conversion of concentrated ore into metal oxide and extraction of metal by reduction of metal oxide. First, we will discuss a second process which is conversion of concentrated ore into metal oxide. The ore can be subjected to either calcination or roasting. First, we will discuss about calcination. In this process, the carbonate ores are subjected to calcination. Calcination is a process in which the concentrated ore is heated strongly below its melting point in the absence or limited supply of air. So this is called calcination and calcination is used for carbonate, hydroxide or hydrated oxide ores. We can also see one chemical reaction. Let us take an example of calcium carbonate ore that is CaCO3. This is limestone. When it is subjected to heat, calcium oxide that is CaO along with CO2 is formed. Calcium oxide is solid and CO2 is in gaseous form. Another example is of calamine. Chemical formula of calamine is ZnCO3. When it is subjected to heat, this is calamine. When it is subjected to heat, zinc oxide, this is zinc oxide and carbon dioxide gas will be formed. So this process is called calcination. Calcium carbonate and calamine are subjected to heat. So calcium oxide and zinc oxide along with carbon dioxide gas will be formed. Now second process is roasting. The sulphide ores are subjected to roasting. Roasting is a process in which the concentrated ore is heated strongly below its melting point in the presence of excess air. Roasting is used for sulphide ores. Sulphide ores such as zinc sulphide and mercury sulphide. Let us take some example. Zinc sulphide. Twice said in S when it is heated below its melting point in, in presence of excess of air. When heat is applied to it, zinc oxide, this is zinc oxide along with sulfur dioxide gas will be formed. This is solid. Let's take another example of copper sulfide. This is Cu2S. This is copper sulfide. When it is heated in presence of air, heat is applied to it, copper oxide will be formed. This is copper oxide along with sulfur dioxide gas. So these are the chemical reaction for roasting. The third process is extraction of matter by reduction of metal oxide. 
द कैल्सियम और रोस्टेड ओर इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू द फ्री मेटल बाय सिंपल हीटिंग और केमिकल रिडक्शन और इलेक्ट्रोलिटिक रिडक्शन इन द केमिकल रिडक्शन मैथड द चॉइस ऑफ रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट डिपेंड अपॉन द केमिकल रिएक्टिविटी ऑफ द मैटल The oxides of moderately reactive metal such as zinc, iron, lead and tin can be reduced by carbon and carbon monoxide. The oxides of very reactive metals such as alkali metals can only be reduced by the electrolytic method. So four categories of reduction process are reduction by heat alone, chemical reduction displacement method and electrolytic reduction first we will discuss reduction by heat alone this is also called as self reduction the oxides of metals which occur near the bottom of the activity series can be reduced to free metals by the action of heat alone no reducing agent is required mercury occurs in the nature as sulfide ore so when it is roasted in the presence of excess of air mercury sulfide is converted into mercury oxide let us discuss this example mercury occurs in the nature as mercury sulfide that is hgs it is also called as cinnabar when concentrated cinnabar is roasted in the presence of excess of air mercury oxide is formed twice hgo along with sulfur dioxide gas mercury oxide is thermally unstable and decomposes to form mercury this is mercury oxide twice hgo heat is applied and reduction occurs so twice hg along with oxygen gas will be formed the overall reaction will be like this this is cinnabar hgs when heat is applied to it and it is heated in presence of air mercury which is liquid along with sulfur dioxide gas will be formed so this is overall reaction we can also take another example copper is also extracted from its sulfide ore this is cu2s this is copper glands copper glands when it is heated in presence of air heat is applied copper oxide is formed this is twice cu2o along with sulfur dioxide gas and the overall reaction will be like this twice cu2o cu2s this is copper glands heat is applied to it copper along with sulfur dioxide gas will be formed now we will discuss another method that is chemical reduction 
कोक और कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड रिड्यूसेस द ऑक्साइड्स ऑफ मॉडरेटली रिएक्टिव मेटल्स सच एस जिंक आयरन टेन लेड एंड कॉपर विच ऑकर एट द मिडल ऑफ द एक्टिविटी सीरीज टू द करस्पॉन्डिंग मेटल्स एंड द मेजर ड्रॉबैक ऑफ दिस प्रोसेस इज दैट द कार्बन इम्प्योरिटी इज डिफिकल्ट टू रिमूव फ्रॉम मेनी मेटल्स we can let's discuss some example to this process zinc oxide this is carbon or we can say it is coke when it is heated at temperature around 1673 2 1 One seven seven three Kelvin zinc, along with carbon monoxide, will be formed. Similarly, for lead, this is lead oxide (PbO). Coke at a temperature of around one two seven three Kelvin. Lead along with carbon monoxide. Will be four. For iron oxide, FeO, along with carbon monoxide, at a temperature of around one one two three Kelvin, iron, along with CO two, will be four. The reduction of calcined or roasted ore by heating with carbon or we can say coke and a flux is called smelting. The oxides of more reactive metal such as sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium and aluminium which have greater affinity for carbon and whose carbides are thermally stable cannot be reduced by carbon. even iron reacts with carbon at high temperature to form impure substance such as iron carbide so as we have already discussed that major drawback is of this process is that the carbon impurity is difficult to remove from many metals in some cases the reduction of metal oxide by carbon requires very high temperature and this makes the process very uneconomical now let us discuss another method which is called displacement method a more reactive metal can displace a less reactive metal from its salt solution this is called displacement method this technique is used in cases where the leaching method has been used for concentration of an ore important example is the extraction of copper from copper glands let's discuss its chemical reaction copper glands that is cu2s when copper glands is exposed to air and water this is water copper sulfate is formed twice cu so4 along with twice cu and water copper is precipitated from copper sulfate solution by adding a more electro positive metal let's take copper sulfate so copper is precipitated from copper sulfate by adding a more electro positive metal such as iron 
now FeSO4 will be formed and this is our copper so this is displacement method here copper is displaced by iron so FeSO4 will be formed Our last method is electrolytic reduction. The carbon reduction method is unsuitable for the metallurgy of group 1, group 2 and group 3 metals since at high temperature these metals react with carbon to form thermally stable metal carbides. These metals are obtained by the electrolysis of their molten chlorides. The process of obtaining a metal by the electrolysis of molten salt is called electrometallurgy. Sodium chloride is electrolyzed in the Downs process using iron, cathode and graphite anode. We can see its chemical reaction. NaCl, Na is positive, Cl negative, this is molten NaCl. So we obtain Na positive and Cl negative. At cathode, at cathode this reaction occurs, it reacts with two electrons so sodium metal is formed this is twice Na and at anode twice Cl negative it loses its electrons so it loses its two electrons so this is Downs process and sodium chloride is electrolyzed in this process. Thank you for watching Adupedia World Videos.